Are you holding that right? No. Nope. All right, STC pod back for another pickup video. This time I'm going to start off because I don't have too much. Uh, picked up some more vinyl for the collection. Um, I believe this might be a double. But uh, is this a live one? No, it's not live, right? Tic Tacs. It's a good one to have anyway. And it's a good problem to have the double with that one. Uh, what do you mean? It's a double as in it, you already have it. I think I have it. I don't know. I got a catalog. My, uh, I really do got a catalog. Oh, man. Heart killed in the 70s. They totally did. A little bit of BJ action. This one, it's getting on. It's got a couple of good ones. They're getting on. Uh, I picked this up for you because I know you're a little bit of a Brian Adams fan. Nope. This one has all his hits, man. Uh, like you talk about, nope. I'm talking about big time records. Summer of 69. Um, yeah. There's another one he I picked up for you. Three years old at the time. You know, uh, I know you're a big Sound of the Music fan. Mm. So I thought this was cool. No. <laughs> cool? <laughs> I don't know about yeah, cool. it's got a big fold out and shit. If you're into... If you're into what? If you're into uh, Sound of Music. Or if you're into Men at Work, like I know you are. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> a little bit of vintage action. I bought this because this reminds me of you. The ring wear, folks. That's a good example of ring wear. And I'll save the best for last. Burp. Whoop. <laughs> Can you not touch my records? A little foreshadowing on what to come. Uh, another tape for the collection. Pearl Jam's 10. Do you think the tape collection might be getting out of hand? I think this is a double too. I, I'm pretty sure I got it already. I didn't have this. Uh, a little bit of Huckleberry Finn action. This one was weird. It's got... Um, this was 1964. But the paper is like a really weird quality. Yeah, it, it feels like construction paper almost. Yeah, it's weird. Look at that. The artwork and stuff. The patina of the the pages. Yeah, it's strange. I have to look into this one. It's got a good smell to, to it as well. Oh, it smells all right. Uh, picked up a Hellboy VHS. Nothing crazy, but I figure someone will buy that at the show. Uh, there's This is a double... Resident Evil Code Veronica. No book, unfortunately. No book. Disc is roached. Disc is not roached. Guitar Hero. That's another double. Where'd you get this stuff? Uh, out thrifting. This one was weird. This is a... Can you hold the ca SNK? Yeah, let me do the camera work. King of the Fighters. And I'll move the camera where it goes. How about that? I taught you how to do camera work. Yeah, it is weird. It's uh, no instruction, but the disc is good. It's a fighting game, but like there was a shot of uh, fighting a vehicle or something. SNK though. I didn't have that one in the collection. Uh, there's another one I I didn't have. I don't know if I'm going to play it or not. Follow Vegas. Why wouldn't you play it? All oh, those games are so long, man. They're long. <laughs> People yeah. love Vegas. I haven't played it yet. 360, uh, Acme, Arsenal. I think you already have this one. Well, this one I don't have. I think you do. And this one I definitely don't have. I've never even seen this one. What is that? A photocopy? It's not a photocopy, dude. It's like a photocopy. It's not photocopy. The cover. The cover looks it's not. It's the texture of it. Relax. Anyway. It's all right. Never seen that one either. Stay tuned, guys. Good stuff still coming up later, just so you know. You mean good stuff right now? You. <laughs> this is the last video we shoot. Uh, a little bit of Blue Rodeo. Lady Gaga. And finally, uh, Simpsons for the PS3. Uh, and then just some NES games. Cartridges. Cartridges on an SDC style pickup. Uh, these I didn't have these two yet for the collection. You must have got them from a really good friend. And Dr. Mario. Uh, these are all doubles. So I'll put them together with something. And that's it. I didn't do too much. Give me this. Burr, all right. go. Now the good stuff. 
We'll start off on uh, Let me know the good stuff. The thrift store. I've seen these before on the thrift and kept passing on them, but this time I decided to take a chance on it. Uh, they are McDonald's uh, World of Disney uh, collector glasses. They're all embossed up. Let me see what it says inside there, I think. Uh, they, they were on for 49 cents each, so I thought maybe, maybe I'll just grab them. I got three of them. So this is, uh, what kingdom is this? Epcot. That's kind of cool. And Which one was this one? That or was, was uh, no, it was uh, Animal Animal Kingdom. Oh, I didn't see it. And then this one is uh, oh. Hollywood and Vine. That's not a kingdom. It's Disney Studios Kingdom. Disney Studios Kingdom. That's not a kingdom either. Yep. Okay. And uh, then uh, in the baggies, I got to go through the baggies because the sharks always forget to look there. I. I grabbed this to check it, and then I ended up buying it. I w probably wouldn't have bought it. It's a third-party Xbox 360 remote. Uh, it's super no-name. I don't know anything about it. It was only a couple bucks, so I'm not too angry. And uh, this is a Bell Satellite UHF remote. I've uh, I've never had trouble selling these. People uh, always need them because Bell does not give you free remotes, free replacement remotes. It's always a fight. So they're good to pick up. This Toshiba, I think this is a TV remote, but it's got your multiple sources on here too. So that might be okay to sell. Probably make 10 bucks off that. These are all like two bucks each in the baggies. And I finally got on the uh, mini cassette recorder train. I know if you uh, listen to the Dollar Dorks podcast with uh, Derek and Chris Roberts, you'll find out that these always make money on eBay. And this is a good one, a little handheld one. with the, It's got the throttle action right on there, and the trigger action on that. Open it up, it's pretty good. But I uh, can't get the freaking batteries out of there. Like They're stuck like a mother, you son of a bitch. Come on, you bastard, move. <sighs> That's a work in progress. But it was only a couple bucks. And I'm also moving into a new direction here. Into the purses. Look at this change purse by uh, Shagware. This was only a couple bucks. Uh, it might be worth like 20 bucks. So I'm going to put that up. See if I can get anything for it. And in the uh, hanging cords. You never see this stuff. An Atari power supply. And I happen to be needing an Atari power supply at home. Uh, P1 of the Cartridge Bros gave me an Atari without a power supply, so I've been waiting forever to find one. Got one! That was extremely lucky, and at the same time found this. Sorry. Now, Sorry. Can you be careful there? Game Boy AC adapter. Never see these. Never. And these were uh, each just $2 each, so good finds there. Also, while I was on the thrift, they had a uh, Band Hero drum set there where I was missing some pieces. So I thought I might cannibalize some of the good stuff in it. And this is the uh, the brain for the band. When I gave this to Joe, he's like, this isn't a comfortable controller at all. This sits right in the drum set. Uh, and, that's not uh, what I said, dude. You put your Wii controller in there and it uh, controls the drums and everything. But it also has like MIDI MIDI ports on it. So a lot of people are looking for this for some reason. So I grabbed that. I'm not looking for it. Put it in a baggie myself with a price. So I got that for like three bucks. Okay, you goods. The goods. You guys interested in seeing some uh, NES cartridges? I got this whole cache of NES games for the entire price of $20. We'll start with, uh, you know, you need that, right? The Mario Bros. And if you get one, you got to get two. Two Mario Bros. This is in no particular order. Simpsons, uh, Bart vs. the World. Didn't have that. I'm going to be like Joe, tell you what I didn't have. Didn't have that. Yoshi. You don't have a lot of games. Actually, I probably have Yoshi. Uh, you go with the Mario Bros. We got Bros 2. Notice these all have the sleeves with them, which is another bonus. Tetris. 
some tengen action. I already have this, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Again, some more Mario Doctor. This was a little bit of uh, trade. Uh, me and Joe already did a trade. He wouldn't tell you, but he got the Sesame Street for this trade straight up. Helped us both out. Superman. People are looking for this one. That's one of the good ones. Wheel of Fortune. Family Edition. That's the Family Edition right there. That's not the Bachelor Edition. Bachelor Edition is a lot more rowdier. Championship Bowling. Four players! Exclamation mark. Uh, you know what this is, right? Fighting Golf. Why would I know what that is? Lee Trevino. You yeah. went on about this one time. Yeah, I've played it. Oh, sure. Some Turtles action. And... Get some more... Let's uh, go! Yep. Some more Disney action. You got some uh, Mickey Mouse Capade. And... Uh, hoops! That's one of the bars you go to, isn't it? Or is it what you take things up? Yeah, I think that's it. What? And whoop. we have uh, Punch Out, Sands Mike Tyson. Where'd Mike Tyson go? Yeah. Oh, he's right here. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And finally, we have DuckTales. Just the first one, folks. Nothing to get too excited about. We're well, showing the second one in the picture. And, uh, Jeez. what? No, the second, first, the uh, Chippendale. Hmm. That's the first one, not the second one. If you were to find the sequels of these, that would be, like, fall over crazy. But uh, I'll take these for sure. Still good games. Still I need them. Oh, don't put these on your crappy. <sighs> Anyways, is, uh, no, that one was yours. That's yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. That's it. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this SDC-style pickup video. I think we are... Um, we're the inventors of pickup videos, aren't we? Why, well, are you saying someone's copying us? Yeah, we're the originators. All righty. Uh, catch you next time. Do we have anything big planned for the next one? I don't know. You don't tell me anything. Quit moving the camera around. At the end, you have to have a wide shot oh, okay. to put the next videos on. Oh, I, mean, I should never let him hold the camera. There we go.